Hi everyone, so I've wanted to do a video, this video for a really long time, like pretty much before even Tati did it, but my health was like bitch. So today I'm testing out something I tested, I think back in 2010 or 11, and that is the Eye Magic Instant Eyeshadow. Tomorrow's custom. So I don't know how, how far it is, so instant eyeshadow, tomorrow's cosmetic, today, not today, the world's quickest and easiest eyeshadow to apply. Basically, it's already some shadow on the cardboard and then you just press it onto your eye, which is like a big sponge applicator but like made of cardboard. Um, close your eyelid, then raise your eyebrow to get a flat surface for bed application using both hands all the eye magic applicator on the base of the eyelid for approx four seconds then by applying comfortable pressure slide the application across your eyelid in the appropriate direction to achieve a sharp look to avoid outlines use the back of the applicator to blend or tone the applied area for a softer look to achieve a different look you can also apply a second Oh, applicator of a different color over the existing eyeshadow to achieve a new unique style. Any user error can easily be rectified by blending with the back of the applicator. Sorry, my vision. Oh my god, my camera has to charge. No! Well, I will come back when it'll fully be charged, I guess. Or not! So, I'm going to open this if I can. I love how they put it like a innovation, I guess. Like, I mean, the idea probably wasn't that bad, but it is, so. It comes like this, like, closed, and I have an idea for what I'm going to do with each eye. Um, first, this left, uh, left, right eye, I'm going to do as they say. Like to stamp it for like one, two, three, four seconds and then sweep. And they say you can blend with the back of the applicator, so. But the. Oh, I think I went off camera. But the idea I had for the other eye was to first prime my lid. I don't know if that's going to be better or worse, but let's do it anyway. I'm just using a concealer I don't like. And like, the idea I have was to pick this up because that's what it looks like. And to use a brush. So I'm going to take, yes, I think it works, like, if it, okay, like I use the, like I put it in my crease, and using the white, like, that it comes with, I'm like blending this out. I feel like there's not enough shadow, like it's really about pressing it, but even then it looks like that and I think when I, no, it's just weird I guess. Um, then for the lid, oh my god I don't have enough gr gray. Okay I think the eye with the like the defined look was better um, than what I did. Why have I done this? I don't know. Um, I want to see how it looks with liner, like if it's that bad. But I also wanted to try if you take this eye and just... I don't know if it's... Their method is the best way, but it's still 
I mean, I would still take a Wet n Wild um, trio for the same price because this was. It went for $3.99 to $2. But I think it was more expensive than that at the start. So I just want to see, like, if I align my eyes. It looks better already, I don't know. I'm just doing something real sloppy and quick. Not a huge fan of this liner, to be honest. And the other eye. I will put a picture of when I did it um, years ago. It was a different color scheme, which I think was more beautiful than that. I called it the, um, you know, that ice cream with the three layers. I don't know how it's called in English. I, f I feel like it look it doesn't look as bad with the um, liner, even though the liner looks shitty right now. But I feel like it's just going to end up looking like a. Um, you can still you can see it like starting to do that, but just like a um, shimmery mess, like. It's hard to, um, I don't know if there was a shade. Anyway. Two pairs, oh, two pairs. Where's the other one? It says two pairs of single use, like. Oh, well, we lost one. So, I mean like, there's no real definition because they all like collect into a medium gray as opposed to really um, layered colors. So yeah, I just I just wanted to try it. Um, like I I already tried it, but like in front of the camera, and I don't know, it just makes me laugh. Like, I mean, it's not the worst. Um, it does the trick, but let's say you aren't really good with eyeshadow. Well, you can just take a gray, um, single. I don't know if Wet n Wild has a gray. I know they have black and white, but any color, and you can just pack it on the lid. Blade and the crease, even with your finger, I don't think it can look as bad as this. And if you buy a single shadow, most of the time they have a, um, how is it called? A sponge applicator, which I think a sponge applicator will do more than, this is like, I don't know if you can, probably not because it's blurry as fuck. Um, it's sort of a styrofoam, and where there's the shadow, it's sort of a... I don't know. I want to try something since we have the applicator. If I put like a shadow on this, will it like translate onto the eyes? I'm trying. I'm trying to put bronzer on it, but it's like really difficult. I will try using a um, pigmented shadow, or if you sweep. Doesn't work, so I'll try like to sweep the shadow in the pen. Even then, like it doesn't stick. It was made like that. Um, their idea was great, but I feel like it's as gimmicky as the um, Laurel One Sweep eyeshadow. But yeah, it's for making it easier. But for me, I think there's easier stuff on the market. The ones I can think of right now, um, Colourpop, you apply with your finger, it's like, it's five dollars, I think, and it's done. If not, you have like those Wet n Wild um, eyeshadow um, singles, Jordana eyeshadow singles, those are like two dollars each. If not, you have the trios, which 
I don't have it, but there's one. Don't steal my thunder. That is like black and gray and white. Um, if not, they're a little more expensive. But those NYX shadow, like those, are more matte and satin finish. But those are the prismatic, and they're really nice. I mean, I have a lighter color, but there's other stuff as well. Um, so yeah, uh, sometimes they try to make stuff easier, but it just ends up being more um, complicated. So I hope you enjoy. Um, this was just a quick fun video um, for trying it out. So um, yeah, thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.